Hello, welcome to our Lent readings and prayers at Holy Trinity Church, West Bromwich. Neil Robbie here, and we're into the restoration of Israel and Judah after the exile in Zechariah chapter 10, 6 to 12. Before we read that, let's pray the collect for today. Grant almighty God that we who deserve to be punished for our evil deeds may by your grace and mercy be spared through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So the introduction to today's reading. Uh, Judah and Israel, uh, the nations have been in exile, will be restored and reunited. And God himself will redeem his people and his people will repent, verse 9, uh, repent of their sin. You will gather them from all the corners of the earth where they were scattered and the Jews will be converted in the name of the Messiah King, verse 12. Let's read Zechariah 6, 10, 6 to 12. I will strengthen Judah and save the tribes of Joseph. I will restore them because I have compassion on them. They will be as though I had not rejected them, for I am the Lord their God, and I will answer them. The Ephraimites will become like warriors, and their hearts will be glad as with wine. Their children will see it and be joyful. Their hearts will rejoice in the Lord. I will signal for them and gather them in. Surely I will redeem them. They'll be as numerous as before. Though I scatter them among the peoples, yet in distant lands they will remember me. They and their children will survive and they will return. I will bring them back from Egypt and gather them from Assyria. I'll bring them back to Gilead and Lebanon, and there will not be room enough for them. They will pass through the sea of trouble. The surging sea will be subdued, and all the depths of the Nile will dry up. Assyria's pride will be brought down, and Egypt's scepter will pass away. I will strengthen them in the Lord, and in his name they will live securely declares the Lord. So a couple of prayer points. We can thank God that Jesus brings healing and unity to divided nations. Remember, Judah and Israel were divided. Um, think of nations today which are increasingly divided politically, religiously. And thank God that Jesus brings healing and unity. And then ask for all people to be willing to turn to Jesus, repent and unite as he gathers people from all over the world. I want to pause the video here and pray. And so the collect for Ash Wednesday. Almighty and everlasting God, you hate nothing that you have made and forgive the sins of all who are penitent. Make in us new and contrite hearts so that lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, we may receive from you the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen.